I show you this, would you know what it is? Many of you may not know what that is. It's the Rosetta Stone. In ancient Egypt, in the year 196 BC, the ruler was Pharaoh Ptolemy. This was the time when the Rosetta Stone was created. It was made out of granodiorite, the rock shown here. It's approximately 114 by 72 by 27 centimeters. But what did it say? That's a really good question. The Rosetta Stone is a text written by a group of priests in Egypt to honor the Egyptian pharaoh. That includes honoring when the pharaoh declared a tax amnesty. That means that taxpayers didn't have to pay their taxes for a certain amount of time. One thing that makes the Rosetta Stone so famous is the fact that it's written in three different languages. Demonic, Hieroglyphs, and Ancient Greek. Here you can clearly see the different scripts. Originally, the Rosetta Stone was held in this Egyptian temple. Later it was moved and used as building material for Fort Julian. Later, the French discovered the Rosetta Stone. Two years later, the British defeated the French and took the Rosetta Stone. In 1802, the stone was moved to the British Museum, and it has been on display there ever since. Along with allowing us to read hieroglyphs off of temples and such, the stone also helped us learn more about ancient Egypt's culture. However, you may ask, how does a rock from 2,000 years ago relate to modern day gold? Artifact number one, a statue of Buffalo Bill showing his good qualities and characteristics. Artifact number two, the Mountain Language Institute, where students come to learn English. Artifact number three, the Colorado School of Mines, where students come to get a variety of new knowledge. To us, the Mountain Language Institute best relates to the Rosetta Stone. As the Rosetta Stone taught us how to read hieroglyphs and told us more about ancient Egypt's culture, Mountain Language Institute teaches students English and more about our culture. We're here at Mountain Language Institute. Here, they teach English to students who primarily have family at the Colorado School of Mines. So, I'm Patrick Dolan, and here we are interviewing... Um, my name is Noelle Vance, and I'm the Managing Director here at the Mountain Language Institute. Clear how once we learned how to read ancient Egyptian hieroglyphics, our knowledge on the culture of ancient Egypt greatly improved. Does learning a language help you understand its culture? Like the culture of the people? Yes, and, and of the place. Of the land. Yes, it does. And then why would you think so? Um, because a lot of culture is embedded in the language. So we, um, like for one thing, we think about things differently depending on where we're from. Hmm. No, we knew the language of ancient Egypt. We did not know the writing which caused a big hole in our understanding. Then what part of the language do you learn for speaking or writing? Um, most people have an easier time learning speaking first. Mm -hmm. Because it's kind of like when you're a baby and you're listening to the language for three years before you speak, and then you try to speak for a couple of years, and then you learn to read and write. Okay. Understanding hieroglyphs allowed us to understand some of the Egyptians' beliefs like the belief that they thought cats were gods. Okay, when, uh, when teaching a language, do you also incorporate the culture of that like, language in place? Mm -hmm. We absolutely do. So we actually teach like what kinds of foods we eat, or we might bring in something so they can try, and so that's what we do. And do you find that it's important to do that, and so that's why? Mm -hmm. Yeah, because a lot of times when you're learning a language, you're feeling uncomfortable because you're not used to where you're living, just like the students at Mountain Language Institute, the scientists who looked at the Rosetta Stone did not expect to learn so much more outside of the language. Okay. Do students also come to learn the culture and etiquette of the place, not only the language? I'm not sure if they plan to do that. 
that because I'm not sure that everyone realizes that's what you get, but that's what happens. Even though the Rosetta Stone was created over 2,000 years ago, it may not be as distant as it seems.